And my feet are killing me. Oh, sure. Thank you. I'm uh, looking for the manager. Oh, Mr. Furley? He lives downstairs. I know, but he's not in. Have you any idea where I could find him? Maybe he went to the hardware store. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, <clears throat> you mind if I sit down? Thank you. <laughs> Maybe he went to the pet store. Do you mind if I smoke? They have the cutest little puppy in that window. Uh, say, you have a nice tray. It is so cute. It's white and brown with spots and big floppy ears. Uh, you wouldn't have a match, would you? <laughs> I hope Mr. Furley doesn't buy that puppy. Why not? Because he doesn't allow dogs in the building. <laughs> I'll go see if I can find him for you. All I'm asking is for you to stay out tomorrow night until you get my signal. Oh, what signal? The big smile on my face. <laughs> Disgusting. Well, oh, I have to be me. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? The name is Leo Moran. I just remembered I left you sitting here, didn't I? <laughs> Who is he? Oh, uh, Janet, Jack, I'd like you to meet, uh, uh... Leo Moran. You know each other? <laughs> what a coincidence. Chrissy, why is this man here? Uh, I, I'm looking for an apartment. You see, I got kicked out of my old one. What happened? Condominium, that's what happened. Condominium. <laughs> you mean they turned your apartment building into condominiums? Yeah. And you haven't been able to find another apartment? Well, I found plenty of them, but I, I just can't afford them. Oh. Well, what about your family? I don't have one. You must have friends. Well, they live with their family. You mean you have no place to go? No. Well, why don't you stay here until you find yourself an apartment? Oh. Oh, oh sure you can. We have lots of room. Yeah. Chrissy, could I speak to you for a Are you crazy? He can't stay here. Oh. All right, Jack. Then you tell him. You tell that poor old man he has to get out. Right. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We've been talking it over, and... Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I'd just be in the way. Huh? Uh, well, yeah, see, there's uh, three of us, and, look, and look, it's... Look, look, Do you have any old newspapers I could stuff inside my shirt? <laughs> it gets pretty chilly at night on those park benches. What are you talking about outside? Oh, I'll manage. They say it's not going to rain for the next few days, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, hey, look, as long as you have no place to go, maybe you should spend one night here. Not on your life. Leo Moran never stays where he's not welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Jack, you're the best roommate we ever had. You're welcome. So you uh, live here with these two girls? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, Leo, I hope you don't mind sleeping on the couch. The couch? Is that any way to treat a guest? Sick of annoying spam calls? RoboKiller eliminates 99% of unwanted calls. And our answer bots have fun blocking your robocalls. There's a shark circling my boat. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, you gotta hit him in the nose. Yes. Right, I'm almost done. I'm sorry. Just give me two seconds. I gotta. So you can live your life spam call free. Download RoboKiller today. You know, nothing against sushi, but sometimes I wish they just ordered lunch through Easy Cater. Hmm. Get food for a whole factory. Burritos? Burritos, sandwiches, whatever. Hey guys, check it out! Jerry just ate a disc magnet! <laughs> yeah, that'd be better. Some food just doesn't work at work, but Easy Cater just does. This soy sauce or machine oil? Oh. Mm. You've got way too many credit card options. Cut through the noise with Credit Karma. Shop curated credit card offers with outstanding approval odds. In fact, Credit Karma members get approved over 50% more often. Boom. Find your next card at Credit Karma. Tired of endless credit card offers? Look for cards with the Karma Guarantee. And if you aren't approved, we'll give you $50.
win-win. Download the app and apply now. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating con Constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Turn back time to the turn of the century with these comedy classics. Shut up. The craziest characters. You're my boy, Blue. The greatest gags. And so much more. That's awesome. I know, right? It's like I have ESPN or something. You rock. No, you rock. Catch all your favorites on the 2000s Replay Channel. Now playing on Pluto TV. Tyler Moore, weekdays at 10, and catch up anytime on demand. Do you mind if I sleep on this side of the bed? Oh, I'm sorry, Leo, but, but I always sleep on this side. Ever, ever since I was a little kid, I slept on this side. Not once in my whole life have I ever slept on that side. Well, it's just that I need to be as close to the bathroom as possible. Mind if I read? Go right ahead. <laughs> Leo, do you mind? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Here, Leo, take it. No, uh, I don't want to read. Good. I'd like to talk. Leo, it's late. I'm tired. You're tired. No, I'm not tired. Everyone needs their sleep, especially at your age. What sort of age do you think that is? The Stone Age? Oh, no, Leo. What I meant to say... Look, no, I'm I 75. Just... You think that's so old? No, no, it's not old. Well, then you're stupid, because it is old. <laughs> Who are you calling stupid? Who are know. you calling old? Well, I'm not sleeping in the same bed with you. Well, I'm not going to sleep with you either. Well, who asked to sleep in this bed Look, in the first you, place? You're the one to start. I didn't start anything. Hey, hey, what's going on in here? Ask him. All I know is a man as old as I am needs his sleep. You two are acting like a couple of children. Yes, now go to sleep like good little boys. <laughs> Jack, what? I'm sorry for calling you stupid. It's okay. I'm sorry for calling you old. <laughs> hey, you know, Jet, I think you're all right in my book. I like you too, Leo. You know, you remind me of me when I was your age. Yeah? Only I was better looking. <laughs> Perfecta mente. I cannot wait till Nancy gets here tonight. Hey, where's Leo? Oh, he went out for a walk. You know, I learned a lot about Leo last night. Well, it is a small bed. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, we're in here. Hey, Leo. What's happening? Hi, Leo. Hi. Well, I thought I'd get you kids a little something to show my appreciation. Yeah. 
Leo, you didn't have to buy us anything. Oh, I didn't buy them. I picked them. <laughs> Roses. You shouldn't have. Oh, they're so beautiful. And they smell like... Coffee. <laughs> These are Furley's prize roses. Oh, they are? Oh, I hope nobody saw you. Open up! It's RF! <laughs> sure you have an affordable toilet paper that works. But wouldn't you like one that you actually enjoy using? Now this is what I'm talking about. Sherman Essential Soft. Whoa, it's softer. And more absorbent. And it fits the family budget. Sherman Essential Soft has the low price you'll love. And it's surprisingly softer and more absorbent. We're rolling with Essential Soft. Now that's a good deal. <laughs> Affordable price, superior softness. Enjoy the go with Charmin Essentials. Without my medication, my days are full of anxiety and that could lead to a panic attack and knock me out for a few days. Pharmacy benefit managers give patients like me a huge level of comfort by ensuring that our drugs are both accessible and affordable. Imagine a city without lead. Safe drinking water is our top priority, and DC Water has taken significant steps to reduce lead in drinking water. Do you have lead pipes? We can help you find out and remove your lead service lines for free. Visit us online for more information. Can getting out be a getaway? At Bonefish Grill it can, because every coastally crafted bite and sip is meant to be savored and shared to satisfy all that you hunger for on your table and around it. Only at Bonefish Grill. Man, drive time makes it easy to buy a car. You can pretty much do it all on your phone and your own time. I got approved, found tons of cars that I like, and got my personalized financing right here. It's kind of like I'm already at a dealership. Hey, yeah, you are in a drive time dealership. Hey. Cool, how? Go, oh, yeah. Technically, anywhere you are with your phone, you're pretty much in a drive time dealership. Oh, right, because I can basically do it all on my phone. Correct. Get your down payment, monthly payment, and find the car you need all on your phone. You done yet? It's 2 a.m. Why are you still scrolling through videos? You're not paying me overtime here. If you really want to see something new, why not change those shades that have been broken for the past two years? Let's tap the Thumbtack app, and in a matter of seconds, we'll find a pro to install new shades. Okay. With Thumbtack, you can easily find top-rated professionals for every home project. Thumbtack, the easy way to care for your home. <sighs> I can't afford this. Yeah, you can. Who are you? I'm you from the future, and I just got paid. And I'm Dave. I can get you up to 500 bucks of your future money now. 500 bucks instantly? Instantly. <laughs> awesome. And why are we naked? Oh, uh, after this, you're going to check into a nudist resort. They have free Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm, and volleyball. <laughs> cool. Download Dave and get up to 500 bucks instantly. No interest, no credit check. Attention parents of children with cerebral palsy. If you suspect that a medical mistake may have occurred at or near the time of birth, call Science and Kirk for a free case evaluation. Financial compensation may be available for children diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Herb's palsy, or another birth injury. A lifetime of medical care can cost millions of dollars. Protect your child and find out what legal rights may be available. Call 1-800-582-5804. Is gone. What a shame. I'm so sorry, Mr. Furley. You know, a lady across the street told me she saw an old man sneaking around them and then coming up the stairs here. Did you see him? An old man? No, I haven't seen an old man near your rose bushes. No, sir, no old man. Who are you calling old? McDonald's. had a farm. E-I-E-I. On that farm, he had a cow. E-I-E-I. Oh. for you, Miss Hurley? <coughs> well, somebody stole my roses. Now, have you girls seen them? What do they look like? <laughs> well, they're red with petals and long stems. And they're roses! They look like roses! No, we haven't seen them. What's that in there? Here, right here, here, in this place here. Oh, um, nothing. Nothing's in there. There's just brooms and dustpans. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Is he a broom or a dustpan? <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you've met the, uh, uh, Mr. Furley. This is my Uncle Leo. Your uncle, huh? Has he been picking my roses? Him? Is he? Oh, Mr. Furley, Jack's uncle has been in the closet all morning. <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, it runs in the family. <laughs> well, I better be going. What's this? Is this a rosebud? No, no, no. No, 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 no. This is not a rosebud. It's a, uh, it's a cake decoration. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Farley, listen, I think you better run on down after those rose thieves while their trail is still hot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. It was delicious. Chrissy, you and Janet, get Leo an apartment. Find him one now. Okay, Chrissy, where'd you put the roses? Over there. Hey, Leo, any luck? No, no don't worry. Oh, I'll find something. You know, there are places that take people like me. You don't mean an old age home? Yeah. I can play checkers and learn to love oatmeal. <laughs> hey, where are the girls? Oh, they went to the movies. Why didn't you go with them? Oh, they asked me, but oh, I was too tired. Leo, Leo, you can't stay here. I got a girl coming any second. Boy, can you operate. <laughs> You send out the home team and bring in the visitors. <laughs> Look, Leo, Leo, you don't understand. See, we want to be I alone. I understand. Listen, I'll go into your bedroom and you and your girlfriend will never know I'm here. Thank you. Great. Oh, that'll be her. I'll get it. No, Leo, let's get my bedroom, would you? Okay, come on, I'm not messing around here. Now, please stay in the room. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Come on in. Oh, you look so, so... Beautiful? Yeah, I, 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 I... I... Can't take your eyes off me. Right, exactly. <laughs> you can kiss me now. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? Thank you. How about a little wine? In a glass would be nice. Of course, I was just fooling. find this wine to your liking. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> the wine has to breathe. Out with the bad air, in with the good air. Smells ready. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's Leo. He, he's a friend. Boy, you hang around with a fast crowd. <laughs> uh, uh, Nancy, Nancy, hey, don't pay any attention to him. He, he's gonna stay in that room all night. Yes, yeah, so we'll have the rest of the apartment to ourselves. To you, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs>
Jack, could you do something about him? Leo, what are you doing? That'll be your third glass of water. No, this is my first glass. You know, fighting fire sure makes you thirsty. <laughs> fire? fire? Oh, it's just a little one. I dropped a cigarette in the bed. My bed is on fire? No, no, just a blanket. It's out now. You know, you could use an ashtray in there. I wouldn't need an ashtray in there if you weren't here. Well, I'll help you. No, you've done enough already. Oh. Oh, dear. I guess he's mad at me. If it was me, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing here, anyway? Oh, well, Jack invited me. Out of pity, no doubt. What are you talking about? Jack likes me. Look, he's just too soft-hearted to tell you the truth. What truth? <laughs> that you're nothing but a nuisance. Oh. Well, I don't need a building to fall on me. No, I'm sorry, Nancy. It really wasn't much of a fire. Would you like dinner now? Mm, I'd love it. Where's Leo? Uh, he left. Just like that? Was, was I too rough on him, you think? Oh, forget about him. I'm still here. Why would he leave? I told him he was a nuisance and in the way. I did you a favor. I got rid of him. You what? Oh, come on, Jack. I mean, who would you rather have around? A broken down old man or me? No contest, Nancy. I thought not. Get out. <gasps> Love these upgrades. Looks like our pack has a new alpha dog. Michelle might have something to say about that. I could trounce Michelle. I would crush her like a tiny little space bug. She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Looks like this puppy needs obedience school. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that move in a while. Star Trek Fleet Command. Download now. This is Rachel at Cardholder Services We've calling in reference to, to your reach current you credit card account. Notice there are no problems. <laughs> For a job. Oh, that's too bad. You know, it would be fun up there at the cabin. Just you and me and Jack Tripper. Jack Tripper? Well, who's he? You're putting me on, right? Huh. You don't know? You never heard of... I'm talking about Jack Tripper, the famous movie director. Oh, that Jack yes. Tripper. Well, what's he done lately? What's he done lately? Oh, Laura. Uh, he's been abroad. He is, uh... See, he was in Japan, you know. I mean, he's very big in Japan, and, uh, and now he's decided to come back to the States, and he is very busy doing commercials. Commercials? Oh, Larry, I would do anything to be in a commercial. That's how a person gets discovered. <laughs> I'll pick you up at noon. Noon? <laughs> oh, Larry, I couldn't possibly be ready by then. I know. You give me directions to the cabin, and I'll meet you there. Terrific. Oh, uh, Laura, there is just one thing, all right? You see, Jack likes to keep a low profile. If he finds out I told you he's a director, he might leave, all right? So don't say anything about being an actress. Oh, Larry, you don't have to worry about me. I'll play it really cool. Atta girl. You just save all your heat for me. <laughs> You gotta come up to the cabin with me. Larry, I have had classes every day this week and I've been working every night. I got a big exam coming up and I have got to get some sleep. Okay, okay, I was just trying to do you a favor. But there's one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna beg you to come. Good! Please, Jack. No! No! Oh, look, an old fashioned proposal. <laughs> Larry, uh. I don't think Jack's ready to settle down yet and have babies. I'm trying to tell the guy that I am too tired to go hiking up to some crummy little cabin in the wilderness. Crummy? Now, look, will you listen to me? My boss calls it a cabin, but what you've got to picture is a big, beautiful chalet. I'm talking about a stone fireplace, a gourmet kitchen. Boy, your boss's cabin sounds great. How come you don't invite us? 
us. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going up there for a weekend. Oh, sure, why not? One of these weekends when the cabin's available, you can be my guest. Buddy, please, please. Larry, I'm not going camping. Camping? <laughs> that reminds me of the time I went to buy myself a sleeping bag. <laughs> Any sleeping bag. You don't? No. Oh, I'll tell you about it. Oh, Chrissy, that's it was okay. about a year ago, you know, and I was invited on this camping trip. So I went to Willett's department store and I saw the cutest sleeping bag. It was red and blue stripes. <gasps> Jack! Oh, it would have been perfect for you for this weekend. Anyway, that's when I found this cute little pink jumper that was on sale, and of course I needed shoes to go with it, and I looked all over town until I finally found a pair of high heels that were comfortable. But then the, the part shoes were the wrong color, and I had to have them dyed to match the purse I bought while I was shopping for the <laughs> shoes. And then I needed a blazer. But the salesman, oh, you sh he was so cute. Okay, was, okay, so you bought a sleeping bag. No, I didn't. <laughs> I spent so much money on all these nice clothes, I didn't have anything left for the sleeping bag. <laughs> but Chrissy, you just said you were going to loan it to Jack. Yeah. Well, I would have if I could, but I can't, so I won't, and he's not going anyway, so what does he need it for? <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Why is she walking like that? Why? <laughs> Hi, Janet, how are you? Do you really want to know? No. Oh. Where's Jack? Right over there, lying down. Oh, then we're halfway there. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lana, I, not now, Lana. I'm too tired to talk. I'm just gonna go to bed and stay there all weekend. Oh, how cozy. <laughs> well, I'll just drop in every hour on the hour and see that you're all tucked in. Oh, well, did, just, did I say this weekend? Huh? Silly me, I, I meant next weekend. This weekend I'm going up to the mountains with Larry here. Larry, uh, what time are we leaving for the camping trip? In one hour. Oh, good. Wake me up in 59 minutes. You got it. <laughs> Goodbye, girls. Uh, I'll see you, Lana. Oh, Sleepy, sleepy, uh, sleepy, tired, tired, sleepy, <laughs> bed now, bed. Isn't this great? Okay, Larry, no more jokes. Let's go to the chalet. Cabin. What? We're here. <laughs> Larry, I'd punch you right in the mouth, only I'm too tired to make a fist. Now, Jack, you got some sleep, you won't be so grouchy. Oh. All right, now why don't you go into the bedroom and lie down, all right? Oh. Sweet dreams, buddy. Thanks. Okay. Well, I'm awake. And I'm angry. Mr. Fist, meet Mr. Mouth. Hey, it was an honest mistake, all right? Surprise! Hi, guys. What are you doing? Well, you said we could come up sometime. Yeah, this is the only sometime where we had some time. Girls, I am terribly sorry, but you can't say. What? You've got to leave. We can't leave. Our lift left. <laughs> Jim Mahoney was driving to San Francisco and he just dropped us off. Well, welcome to Larry's Paradise. What? Come on. There's got to be more to it than this. This reminds me of my grandfather's farm. Farm? Yeah, the little house in back of the big house. <laughs> What are you doing here? I was invited. Yo, who invited you? I did. <laughs> now I'm never going to get any sleep. Oh, now, dear. Not now, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. Larry, who are all these people? Huh? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, most of them are leaving. <laughs> Except my friend, Jack Tripper. a good cigar. Huh? <laughs> and all my men love the big bandito. <laughs> and a woman loves a man with the big bandito. <laughs> a dollar for three, but this one's on me.
out here? Be free. Here we don't just hike, we Moab on. You know, I just thought of something. Oh yeah? And shouldn't we put it up first? <laughs> to do the biting? I mean, the pursuing? I mean, uh... Well, you came with Furley. Where is he? Oh, Furley is off looking for strawberries. <laughs> strawberries? Well, I love wild strawberries. And I told him if he brought me some that I'd be his snuggle bunny tonight. His <laughs> snuggle bunny? <laughs> but strawberries aren't in season for another three months. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> oh! I'll be back in a minute. Jack. There's another verse. No, there isn't. <laughs> What's she doing giving away more cigars? I think the altitude is starting to affect people. <laughs> ah, look, wild strawberries. Those aren't strawberries, they're blueberries. Isn't that close enough? <laughs> I would do anything for wild strawberries. Wild strawberries, huh? Okay, you got them. And you be waiting here, because when I get back, I'll be wilder than the strawberries. Now, where were we, Jackie? Jack? Watch it, Larry. You'll mess up my hair. If I don't get some sleep soon, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Sleepy time. Bye-bye, Jackie. Go, sweetie. You know what your problem is? You're tense. You need to relax. Why don't you take a swim? I mean, there's a stream right down by the trail. I don't want to swim in a stream. I want to sleep in a bed, but I can't. And you know why, Larry? Because every time I lie down, there's somebody there. Help me, Larry. I need some sleep. You got insomnia? <laughs> <laughs> Just keep walking till you get wet. <laughs> Facebook is building tools to enhance safety and security. More than 40 million people are using Facebook Privacy Checkup each month. That's nearly 60 times the population of Washington, D.C. How many annoying spam calls do you get? 20 to 30 calls. I would get those calls that sounded serious. I'm a physician, so I, I can't turn my phone off. You get these recorded messages claiming they're from the IRS. Your heart starts beating fast. Try RoboKiller. I'm like, sign me up. RoboKiller screens these calls for me and blocks the ones that need to be blocked and allows the ones in that need to be allowed in. And how many spam calls do you get now with RoboKiller? I'm getting zero spam calls because of RoboKiller. A big fat zero. <laughs> RoboKiller. Download today. Facebook is taking action to keep its platform safe. Over 40,000... <laughs> <laughs> Can I 
swing on your tree? <laughs> he loves me. Lana. He loves me not. Lana, leave the leaves, okay? He loves Lana, please. He loves Lana. me not. Lana. Lana! Oh, just when I was getting to the answer. Please, don't tell him where I am. Do me a favor, okay? Lana, where are you? <laughs> Have you seen Lana? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> You're not going in the bushes with you. <laughs> oh, come on. Dad? What? Are you all right? No, these butts are eating me alive. Listen, I got to come in there and sleep with you girls. Okay, but no funny stuff. You won't even know I'm here. I know you're here. Your elbow's in my nose. Sorry. Look, let's all lie sideways, okay? Oh, there'll be enough room? Yeah. Oh, come on. Watch it. Jack, would you watch your hand? My hand? I thought you were tired. I'm not that tired. <laughs> Like you. Then use me. What? Please use me. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Well, Jack, are you going to use me in your next commercial or not? What commercial? Oh, you are a director, aren't you? Well, you do direct commercials. I'm not a director, I'm a chef. What? What is this? You made me make a fool out of myself. Hey, I'm just as shocked as you are. <laughs> This man my entire life, and just now I find out he's been lying to me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, shut up, you fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, look, why don't we go back to the cabin and rehearse? Rehearse yourself! glad to see you. Oh. Unzip me, please. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Hi, little man. Oh. <laughs> Guess what I've got here for you. <laughs> Strawberries? But that's impossible. Where'd you find them? At the general store down the hill. <laughs> the Ralph, <I'm... laughs> Never eat strawberries without cream. That's the way I like them too. Come on, sweetheart. A deal's a deal. Oh. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 don't leave me alone. <laughs> alone. <laughs> With nobody to wake me up. <laughs> Sleepy time bye bye here. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Out here, be free. Here we don't just hike, we Moab on. There's a huge stigma around being a mom and an athlete. I got pregnant with my daughter. She's for sure done. And I'm like, no. We have all these ways to get information about our bodies, but when it comes to my reproductive health, I have no idea. As an athlete, that's troubling. My livelihood is my body. Everyone should be talking about fertility. I refuse. I refuse to let my fertility be a mystery. Oh, my stomach. What's wrong? It always happens when I eat. Bloating, indigestion. Always? Well, yeah. Don't you? I used to. Have you tried probiotics? Yeah, but they never work. I thought so too, but then I tried Peptiva. Peptiva is the first ever doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by not one, not two, but over seven clinical studies. And right now you can get a complimentary sample by texting HIDE to 4 2424. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation while promoting digestive health. And it has time release melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life. Okay, now that sounds good. See why Peptiva is flying off the shelves at GNC. Get your complimentary sample now by texting HIDE to 42424. That's H I D E to 42424. Attention Marines and family members who spent time at Camp Lejeune. If you spent time on base at Camp Lejeune prior to 1988 and developed any of these cancers or suffered any of these injuries, you may be eligible for significant financial compensation. Call Camp Lejeune Victims to discuss your case now. Leaking underground tanks contaminated the drinking water with benzene and other highly carcinogenic chemicals up to 280 times acceptable levels in some instances. There have been numerous reported cases of exposed personnel developing cancer and other serious health conditions. It is critical to take action and call Camp Lejeune victims now. If you or someone you know spent time at Camp Lejeune before 1988 and you developed any of these cancers or injuries, call to determine your eligibility for financial compensation now. If you don't win, you pay nothing. Call 800-856-4128. That's 800-856-4128. How will you make it on your own? It's time you started living. It's time you let someone else do some giving. You can have a down. Why don't you take it? You might just make it after all. Mary Tyler Moore, weekdays at 10 and catch up anytime on demand. We don't want to wake you. Yeah. Call a doctor. Well, no, you don't need a doctor. You just need to sleep. I need a doctor. We'll take care of you. You know those leaves I wrapped around me? Yeah. Poison oak. <laughs> On our floor, take a step that is new. Leave a lovable space that needs your face. Free stop for me, too. I'm home. <laughs> Why do you not 
back first. Yeah. Why? Because we might not have been decent. It's all right. I look first to make sure. <laughs> well, that's okay, then. <laughs> Jack, as long as you're here, why don't you help Chrissy put up new shower curtains? I need to get something out of the oven. Hey, wait, when did you take up cooking? I haven't. I've got some underwear drying. <laughs> Jack, just hand me the new curtain and then you can go, okay? No, Chrissy, I'll help. Oh. I'll get it! Oh, hi, Mr. Furley. It's nice to see you. Don't get your hopes up. This is not a social call. Ah, oh, shucks. <laughs> Today I'm wearing my landlord hat, and I want to see the man of the house. Oh. Unless he's painting his toenails. <laughs> Jack is in the bathroom. Would you excuse me? Surely. Thank you. <sighs> okay, Chrissy, I'll get in the tub with you, then we can get it on. <laughs> I've ever done this. Maybe so, but girls are better at this than boys. Come on, Chrissy, a little less talk and a little more action, okay? Okay, you do your part, I'll do mine. I don't think it'll reach. Oh, don't give me that. I heard rub-a-dub-dub come hop in my tub. I heard all of it. You heard all of what? What is going on in here? Yeah, I was just asking you. How'd you get your clothes on so fast? <laughs> what? What? Don't act so innocent. I know what's what. But how'd you get your clothes on so fast? Excuse me, what is he talking about? I don't know. Rub-a-dub-dub come hop in my tub. What are you talking about? <laughs> How'd you get your clothes on so fast? What? Another innocent. I know what you were doing. Putting up a shower curtain? That's right. You're... <laughs> you a shower curtain? Well, of course. What'd you think we were doing? <laughs> well, it sounded like you were... <laughs> Mr. Furley, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why? What'd he do? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Wait a second, Mr. Furley. What did you come up here for anyway? I can't remember. Boy, I have never seen anyone so ashamed of doing nothing. Uh -huh. I'll be right with you, Chrissy. Can you believe that, Furley? Yeah, you mean no he way thought I Chrissy? Oh! Oh! Chrissy? What happened? Are you okay? What happened? Oh, oh, oh I slipped in the tub and I banged my head. Oh, oh Chrissy. Chrissy, I told you never to wear your boots in the bathtub. <laughs> Shower curtain. Oh, come here, sit come here, down just on the sit down. Sofa. Oh. Sit down, sit down, come on. Are you all right? No, I'm okay. I'll decide how okay you are. Come on, Chrissy, focus in now. How many fingers do you see? Five. Five? <laughs> Two and a V and three folded down. It's okay, she's normal. Yeah. Normal, except for this. Feel that. Right. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. You have got a goose egg. I know. Chrissy, look, you better go right to bed and rest. It's only 8 o'clock. It's too early to go to bed. Well, if it'll make you feel any better, we'll all go to bed early. Yeah, I'll go to bed with you. What? <laughs> no, I mean at the same time. Is something burning? Burning? Oh, I forgot my underwear in the oven! <laughs> Too bad hot pants are out of style. Oh, Chrissy. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, what are you doing out here? Well, it's such a beautiful night and I couldn't sleep, so I just... Chrissy, said... you're supposed to be in bed. You just had a bad whack on the head. Come well, on. quit babying me. I'm a big girl. Now. Oh, you're a big girl now? Well, you're acting like a baby, and I'm going to treat you like one. Come Chuck, here. will you put me down? Come no on. way. I'm taking you to bed whether you like it or not. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. This time I got you dead to rights. Oh, Mr. Furley, you don't understand. I don't have to understand. I caught you red-handed. Mr. Furley, it's not what it looks like. Oh, don't give me that innocent stuff again. You got the evidence right in your hand. Look, Mr. Mr. Furley. Furley. Uh, Mr. Furley, Jack was not doing anything wrong. 
Daphne was helping me. I'll just bet. Honest, I was, Chrissy. Hang on a second. What are you doing up here anyway? Well, I remembered why I came up here before. Why? I, I forgot again. But clear out of my head. You people are driving me crazy. Hey, what's going on? I thought we were all going to go to bed together. Oh. I knew it. Now, you listen to me. This is a respectable place. No room and orgies here, or else! <laughs> Boy, when my head's not right, you both sure get into a lot of trouble. Oh, Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy. Hey, oh, Chrissy. Hey, Jack, I don't think Chrissy's feeling too well. You okay? Oh, boy, everything just got sort of blurry there for a minute. Oh, that's it. We're not taking any more chances. Let's get her to a hospital. Right, you call a cab, I'll get her dressed. Right. <laughs> Dress, you call the cab. Okay, 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 okay you take care of it. I'm so out. Okay, okay, okay I'll, I'll call the dress, then you, uh, what, uh, help, uh. Hello, and how are we feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling That's kinda... good. Now, I need your full name. Christmas Snow. <laughs> Oh, yes, and snow is a fun part of Christmas, isn't it? Now your real name, please. Christmas Snow. That is my real name. It's my dad's name, too. I see. Your father's name is Christmas. Father Christmas? No, it's Snow. Uh, but he's not Christmas. He's Reverend. Well, really, he's Luther, but nobody ever calls him that. I see. <laughs> Christmas, even though I wasn't born on Christmas Day because my dad said that I was the best present he ever got. <laughs> oh, yes, all right, I'll put that down. Christmas snow? Nobody ever calls me Christmas, though. Well, in school, they used to, they used to call me Christmas Eve and Christmas sale and Christmas stocking. Now, everybody just calls her Chrissy, C-H-R-I-S-S-Y. Oh, no, I, uh, C-H-R-I-S-S-Y. My mother said it's a good thing I wasn't born in June because then I'd be named after Father. Day, and when my dad introduced me, he'd say, meet my daughter, father. <laughs> oh, now I understand. She's had a head injury. <laughs> oh. Chrissy, would you excuse me for a minute? Be right back. Oh, Janet, Janet, oh. I just found Dr. Todd's. Oh, hello. Oh. How's Chrissy? Well, I don't really know yet. The headache and the, well, the other symptoms mm -hmm. could be due to an inner ear disturbance. That would be relatively good news. And the bad news? Well, it's going to take more tests and pictures and maybe even a brain scan to find out. Well, what else could it be? A cranial hemorrhage or clot? There is a possibility, and that could be very bad. How bad? The worst. Oh, yeah. Y'all really are need yourselves this time. Thank you. Appreciate that. We should have rescheduled. They barely noticed. Hon, they've noticed. Baby, it's fine. I've already found a personal loan on Credit Karma, and I saw my rates and approval odds before I applied. Oh. <laughs> Till the roof is coming tomorrow. Okay. Couldn't get those roofers to come today, huh? <laughs> Find a loan up to $50,000 on Credit Karma. Today, women with nighttime urinary incontinence don't have to wake up wet. Introducing the PureWick system, an innovative breakthrough system for managing female urinary incontinence at night. Morning, Mom. Good morning. How did you sleep? Better, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, good. The PureWeek system works outside the body to draw urine away, helping to keep skin dry and control odor. The PureWeek system is a non-invasive option for management of moderate to severe urinary incontinence, helping to reduce the need for multiple changes at night or trips to the bathroom. Now, staying dry can be one less thing to lose sleep over. To order your PureWick system, call 800-221-5014 and find out why 9 out of 10 users and caregivers would recommend the PureWick system. Call 800-221-5014 today. 
Turn back time to the turn of the century with these comedy classics. Shut up. The craziest characters. You're my boy, Blue. The greatest gags and so much more. That's awesome. I know, right? It's like I have ESPN or something. You rock. Oh, you rock. Catch all your favorites on the 2000s Replay Channel, now playing on Pluto TV. want more? I think I do. Great! More of this? Here we go! Even more of this? Blah, blah, you. What about more of this? Maybe not this. Get more of what you love. Well, this looks good. More of your favorites. Oh, isn't that great? Excellent! <laughs> because more is never enough. <laughs> Get more of it all on more TV sitcoms. Watch now on Pluto TV. What's that? It's Perry Mason. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. Either way, he has his own channel on Pluto TV. You were innocent the first time. And you can watch him anytime, free on Pluto TV. Something's going on in the country. It's got to be the internet. Internet's bringing out people we never even knew existed. Ah! Oh, God! <laughs> you give them the internet, they have an outlet to the rest of the world. Ta -da! Together, we are going to find the killer. Welcome to East New York. East New York, new series Sunday, October 2nd on CBS. Jack, <sighs> she is going to be okay, isn't I, she, yeah, Jack? She and is. you tell me, no fooling. She's going to be okay. Somebody always watches out for kids like Chrissy. They do? Well, in that case, if you have any favors coming, Jack, you ask for them now, okay? I already have, Janet. I already have. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I know it's late. Good thinking, Mr. Furley. Now, hold on. I finally remembered why I came up here before. It's really nothing, and I know I probably shouldn't even be bothering you at this hour. Right again. But you can't blame me for forgetting after seeing what I saw and you getting mad at me at all. Mr. Furley, what you saw was not what you thought it was. What else could it have been? There you were, carrying Chrissy, heading for the bedroom, wearing that frilly little half nighty. I mean, she was wearing it, you weren't. Right, Mr. Furley. Furley, for your information, Chrissy is in Seaport Hospital. Seaport Hospital? Yeah, she fell down and she hit her head, and there's complications, and there's maybe even worse. And see, Jack was just trying to make her go in and rest. That's what you saw. Chrissy's in the hospital? Yeah. And we won't know the test results until morning. Oh, I'm sorry. The poor kid. Is there anything I can do? We well, can tell us why you came up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot again. <laughs> Here's the second breakfast you ordered. Oh, thank you. Chrissy, you shouldn't eat all that. You ought to thank me for getting rid of this hospital food before any sick people eat it. <laughs> there was no answer when I called your roommates. They must have left already. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. Well, they won't mind when they hear the good news. Are you sure I'm okay? I'm not going to fall on my face somewhere. No. Not even when I trip? Oh, no. Yes, of course, when you trip. <laughs> and when you get my bill. <laughs> That's my little joke. <laughs> yes, Ralph, the, um, the dizziness was caused by an inner ear disturbance, but I can say definitely that now you're perfectly normal. Well, you must be a great doctor, because I never was before. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, you're some character. <laughs> you know what I was thinking last night, doctor? Uh, I can hardly wait to hear. <laughs> well, I was lying here last night, and I was thinking how practical God was when he made us. How do you mean? Well, for instance, take our ears. I mean, not only are they good to hear from, they're in the perfect place for holding up our glasses. <laughs> With that. And he gave us not nine, not eleven, but ten fingers, which is the perfect amount for counting. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful that he put our arms on top of our hands? I beg your pardon. Well, if it weren't for our arms, 
our hands would hang from our shoulders like <laughs> we wouldn't be able to scratch our back. <laughs> Are you Jack and Janet? Yes. yes. Is there any news about Chrissy Snow? I tried to call. The doctor better tell you he's with her now. Oh, thank you. Doctor, how's Chrissy? Oh, she can go at any time. <laughs> she can go? At any time? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Does, does, I was just, does Chrissy know? Yes, I just told her. Oh, I'm gonna miss that girl. <laughs> Glad to see you too. Did you talk to the doctor? Yes. Then you know? Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, fine. The not knowing was the worst part of it. <laughs> oh, Chrissy! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, how are you guys? You've been so terrific through all of this. Chrissy, you shouldn't be thinking about us now. Oh, yeah. You know. As long as I live, I'll never forget how super you both were. <laughs> See, um, is there anything that you want? I mean, anything. You name it. Well, before I go, I would like to go around and say goodbye to all the nurses. They made it lots easier. Oh, sure, honey. Oh, Jack. It's almost over. <laughs> no more hospitals. No more worrying about me. Soon this will all just be a memory. <laughs> What's wrong? Just something in my eye. <laughs> Chrissy, <clears throat> um, did the doctor say when? When what? Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, uh, when? Ah. Uh, you'd be. <laughs> going. He said around noon. <laughs> so fast! So fast! You know, I wish this weren't a hospital. I just love to shoot off some firecrackers, really go out with a bang. <laughs> but hurry, you guys, I wouldn't really do it. Excuse me. <laughs> me too. I'll be right back. What are you guys? What's the matter with you guys? Out here? Be free. Here we don't just hike, we Moab on. Sick of annoying spam calls? RoboKiller eliminates 99% of unwanted calls. And our answer bots have fun blocking your robocalls. There's a shark circling my boat. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, you gotta hit him in the nose. Yes. I'm almost done. I'm sorry. Just give me two seconds. I gotta. So you can live your life spam call free. Download RoboKiller today. Ah. ah, love these upgrades. Looks like our pack has a new alpha dog. Michelle might have something to say about that. I could trounce Michelle. I would crush her like a tiny little space bug. She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like this puppy needs obedience school. Oh, I haven't seen that move in a while. Star Trek Fleet Command. Download now. Hey, folks, I'm here with Publishers Clearinghouse, and we're giving away some real serious money. 
Now you can win $7,000 a week, week after week for life. You got to be in it to win it, just like Marjorie. Enter at PCH.com. Oh, OK. Well, this was kind of a surprise. <laughs> October 31st, this van could be at your house. Seven grand a week for life. Enter now at PCH.com. The Sport Clips MVP haircut experience is like nothing else in the world. And now, it's better than ever. It's a perfectly steamed hot towel, infused with our signature scent. A seven-point massaging shampoo. And neck and shoulder, Nirvana. Oh, yeah. The MVP haircut experience, only at Sport Clips. Hello, welcome to T-Town. Like men over 40 everywhere, these guys experience a drop in testosterone. Don't worry, it happens to all of us. Some guys took my advice about how to boost their testosterone, and some didn't. This guy got the message loud and clear. That's right, Nugenics Total T. Nugenics Total T is the unique man-boosting formula powered by Testofen, a patented key ingredient clinically researched to boost free testosterone to help you feel stronger, leaner, with more muscle and drive. Nugenics is the number one selling testosterone brand at GNC, but you can only get your complimentary bottle by texting SLIGHT to 369369. Thanks. It'll make you feel like a new man. And by the way, she'll like it too. Get your complimentary bottle of Nugenics now. Text SLIGHT to 369369. Text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever, absolutely free. Why does it always have to happen to the good ones? I have never seen anybody so brave. We're gonna have to be brave for Chrissy, okay? Can you pull yourself together? Huh? Hi, I got here as quickly as I could. I brought these for Chrissy. Oh, I'm sure she'll appreciate them. Yeah, the nurse told me about Chrissy. Make sure these go with her. <laughs> Don't worry about what happens to the flowers. Well, sure, there's no sense in leaving them behind. Oh, and if you wrap things up here by 12, you won't have to pay for another day. <laughs> the money isn't important. You mean she's covered by insurance? <laughs> Mr. Furley, please stop talking about things like that. Well, it doesn't hurt to be a little practical. Will you just drop it? <laughs> the important thing is Chrissy. We want to spend every moment we can with her. Well, fine. But when it's all over here, you can take her home, prop her up on a sofa with some pillows, and stare. Choke this man. No, I'm gonna no, choke. No, I'm gonna no, put no, my no, hands no, around the man's no, neck. No, 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 oh, oh, Mr. Furley. Chrissy, best wishes. Oh, you're so lovely. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Chrissy, you should be back in bed. Why? I have to get dressed, so I'll be ready to leave. Leave? You can't leave, Chrissy. You're supposed to be Carrie. <laughs> Are you still here? Chrissy, hospitals are only for sick people. Well, yes, but you know, <laughs> This she... girl is the funniest patient I've ever had. She had me laughing so hard I was crying. <laughs> you mean... Crying? You mean she's all right? All right? If all my patients were like her, I'd be out of business. Well, have a nice trip home. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, doctor. Thank you. I'll call a cab. Thanks. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> He lost you. Where? <laughs> Where? When? Jan thought it was forever. You should have seen her last yeah. night. Bananas. Yeah. She acted like it was well, the end. No. Was... It was him. Me? I didn't. Were... I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It was him. <laughs> you know, he was a nervous wreck. But you know me. I'm the calm one. I'm always very calm. I knew in my heart every. Clown. <laughs> Janet? She's passed out. Oh, Janet! Wait, no. wait, let me let me put her in your bed, Chrissy. Uh, come here. I call the cat. Don't you ever stop.
I suffer from mental illness and having quality access to medication has been absolutely transformative for my life. My medications cost about $350 a month, but with a pharmacy benefit manager negotiating on my behalf, I pay $5. Facebook is taking action to keep its platform safe. Over 40,000 people are working on safety and security. That's more than the size of the FBI. $16 billion was spent in the last six years. Enough to build seven pro stadiums. More than 40 million people are using Facebook privacy checkup each month. That's nearly 60 times the population of 